it's been a lot of great times in the house, actually. I mean, I know by watching it, you see us fight and go crazy, you know, but um, the friendships that I've developed in there, you know, amazing. I, I'll never forget that. And um, I have to say one of the greatest moments for me was winning the HOH on the double eviction day. I cannot tell you how that felt. I knew that it was either do or die, so to speak. Yeah. I had to get it. I had to get it, and I had to protect the people that, you know, that meant the most to me. And when you did win HOH, how how exciting was it to see photos, to see your buddy Gizmo? Aww, it was so exciting. I yeah. mean, that's one of the pluses about it. That's, you know, definitely a plus about it is to see all your loved ones. Is this the longest you've been away from Gizmo? Yes. Yeah? This is the longest. Are you uh, excited to see him? I can't wait to see that little dog. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm sure he's been watching every episode. I know he's been logging onto the feed. <laughs> Gizmo, I think, is truly your biggest fan. I mean, that guy has got your back. I think so. He's a very loyal, loyal dog, <laughs> Gizmo, more than even regular dogs. Um, okay, Joan from New Jersey would like you to answer this, Keisha. For you, what's the hardest part about being in the Big Brother house, just having to live in there, in that house? Um, having to live in the house, I'm going to have to say, uh, being so secluded. And you're in this environment with all of these people that are backstabbing you, and you can't escape. I mean, there's no escaping it. You're just stuck. You're stuck there in this house, and you get in a fight with someone, they can follow you right into the bedroom. Yeah. I mean, there's no getting away, you know? Yeah, there is very little chance for anybody to truly, like, leave a situation and cool down. It was so hard. So hard. What's the what's the largest number of people that you've ever lived with? Um, I've actually lived with, at one time when I first moved to L.A., there were five of us living together in a two-bedroom apartment. Oh, okay, that's the way every great L.A. story starts. <laughs> that really does, I think. It does, sleeping on the sofas, you know they say. Yeah, I, when I came to L.A., same thing, six of us. Really? Six of us in this tiny, crazy little apartment. Well, how fun. So from 5 to 14, though, that's quite a jump. Huge jump. And uh, one bathroom, except unless you're HOH. How was it just having to construct your day in terms of getting ready and just sharing that type of space? Um, it, was, it was kind of hard to do that, actually, because, I mean, there's so many girls just all, you know, in this little space that really you just try to keep it basic. Just keep it basic. Keep it basic. Keep it basic in the Big Brother house. Okay, uh, here's a question from Piper in Texas. I know this must seem like years ago, but what was the real reason you evicted Angie? Was it jealousy? How do you respond to that? And then there's a follow-up question, but we'll see how you... Uh, what was the real reason you evicted Angie, if you can remember back that far as well? Oh, that's been a while ago. Um, I will tell you this. It was not jealousy. I actually like Angie. I have nothing against Angie. Um, I look at Angie as a very strong player. She was very silent. Um, the guys loved Angie. And the way that I looked at it, I mean, they loved her on a friendship. And the way that I looked at it is they are going to carry her through this game. She's never going to have to do anything. She never had to do anything. I would notice with her, she would make statements but the guys would do the dirty work and she would always sit back mm. you know and it was always and I I saw it I mean I was like oh this girl is good I mean I gotta give her credit I've even told her I gotta give you credit you are good at this game right okay so then uh, following up from that the question is do you wish now that you would have worked with her or maybe some of the other girls to try to outnumber the men did that did that strategy ever cross any of you guys mind um, you know, some of the people thought that, you know, it was guys against girls, Jerry. I've never thought that. Uh, to me, that's silly. Guys and, I mean, why can't you work together? Why does it have to be, that was just silly to me. Guys and girls against each other? No, that has never crossed my mind. Um, I, I, I don't, I would not have changed my play. I wouldn't have changed it. I think she would have made it to the end with one of the guys. Okay, cool. You're doing a great job, Keisha, by Thanks. the way, if I could just say. <laughs> uh, okay, we are asking Keisha your questions that you sent to us at uh, housecalls at cbs.com. And the next question comes from Cody in Clermont, Florida. Ooh, yeah. Keisha, 
Would you do an All Stars? And if so, who from your season would you like to see do it with you? So if you could go in and do an All Stars, first tell us that. Would you go? I would. You would? I would definitely go. Yes. Excellent. Definitely. So this game and all that you've been through didn't intimidate you or sway you that you would go back in and try again. You know, if you would have asked me in this in the house, I would kind of uh, probably be like, oh, I don't know. But all in all, I, I love this experience, and I would definitely go round two. Okay. So then out of your season 10 cast, out of the, out of the entire cast, who would you like to play with you? Rennie! Rennie! <laughs> well, there you go. If anybody ever wondered whether this friendship was genuine, <laughs> it is. That would be fun. You guys would make quite a dynamic duo. Right? That would be a blast. Sweet. Okay, so we got that on tape now, so I don't think you can back out. If an All-Stars happens, I'm pretty sure this I'm counts in. as a commitment. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, Janice from Philadelphia would like to know, do you think because you were the nicest person in the house that that caused your demise? Well, first of all, thank you for telling me that I was the nicest person in the house. I appreciate that. Um... Um, maybe. I mean, that could have been my downfall. Um, I, I think that I got pretty far, but, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have done to Memphis what he did to me, and he always told me that I had too big of a heart. So I, I don't know. Maybe, but you know what? I'm not going to change who I am for anything. Yeah. Okay, now Sarah from New York says, You were the only person that seemed to be able to stand Jerry. Were you really being genuine, or was tolerating him simply gameplay? Um, I never used Jerry for gameplay. Um, I knew that Jerry was just kind of being, you know. I actually felt bad for Jerry. I would see him walking alone through the house, and I can't help it. He's still a 75-year-old man, and he looked very lonely at times, and it broke my heart, you know. It really did. It did. It was completely genuine. Okay. There you go. Now, uh, let's see. Donna from here in Southern California says, Do you think you and Rennie would have gone farther in the game if you had both changed your alliance and gone with Michelle and Ollie? Okay. So now I, I know you're probably you're saying have no regrets about the game, but for the sake of conversation and strategy, if you could go back to this point in time, what do you think would have happened had you and Rennie paired up with Michelle and Ollie? Or was that really, is that even an option? That was never in my favor because Ollie wanted me out on the basis of April. I mean, he would have never taken me. You know, there was too much of a personal thing there. You know, he fell for April and everybody knows our relationship. So I always knew Ollie and I got along just great. Yeah. If that wasn't involved, but it was. So, and Michelle, I mean, she tried to sell me out pretty quick. So... I knew that that wasn't an option for me. Cool answer. Okay, now, Juliana from Charleston, South Carolina, says, what surprised you the most about the Big Brother experience? Oh, wow. What did surprise you? Um, like, I have a specific for you. Okay. Did the temperature of the water surprise you <laughs> during some of the competitions? I asked that only because... <laughs> Many house guests have said that the water that Big Brother uses is cold. Ice cold. Is it? Ice cold. I did the flower competition. And, yes, right. And on I had the to head. lay, yes, underneath it, and it dribbled right here on top of your head. And it hurt. I mean, it hurt. It's like, you know, when you eat ice cream real fast? Yes. That brain freeze. I was like, I didn't think I was going to make it through the first minute. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But after a while, you become numb. Yeah. Yeah, so the water is The water cold. is. They're not lying. It's true. And is there anything else that happened uh, in this experience that surprised you, that 